Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. Today's topic for training is financial statement version. Financial statement version is defined to create balance sheet and profit and loss statements. It is defined to get the financial statement in the required manner as per the legal requirements. A particular company code can have multiple financial statement versions as required. The prerequisites, chart of accounts, general ledger accounts. Financial statement version which means a hierarchical positioning of GL accounts and this positioning can be based on specific legal requirements for creating the financial statements. We can create number of financial statement versions for the chart of accounts, one for local reporting of company financial statement and another for parent reporting of financial statement versions, financial statements. In each version we can group the GL codes differently as required for the reporting purpose. We define the financial statement version because we need to represent our balance sheet and profit and loss account in a particular manner. We can define versions for a specific chart of account, for a group chart of account or without any specific assignment. Then we determine the financial statement items for the version which we have created for our company code. Once the financial statement versions items are defined or determined, we assign group of accounts to those items at the lower level of the hierarchy. We can select the criteria that determine which item the accounts are displayed in. For example, account accounts or group of accounts can be assigned to a particular item based on their balance. So this is one way of defining the accounts or group of accounts in the financial statement versions. Other way we can also assign functional area intervals at the lower level of this structure instead of accounts interval. Either account interval or functional area intervals can be assigned in a financial statement item. We must explicitly define financial statement version to which functional areas are assigned as such. So we will be doing this in the SAP system which will give you more and broader understanding of uh, uh, what I am been speaking of. So let's move on to the next part. The next is, is the configuration step that is to define the financial statement version. So this is what we will be doing in the SAP system. We need, this is a part of a configuration which has to be done where we define a financial statement version in that we need to define the structure, the structure in which the company require the financial statement as per the legal requirement, as per the Companies Act or as per the US GAAP. So those those particular layout are defined and on that those particular layouts the ledger accounts are then later on assigned so that those values can be directly picked up to the system. So as on your screen the path is there IMG financial accounting new then to general ledger accounting new then periodic processing, document, define financial statement versions or there is a, tra a transaction code by which we can directly reach to this particular screen as well that is OB58. So moving on to the SAP screen, we will first go to SPRO, enter, then SAP reference IMG. Now to financial accounting new, then to general ledger accounting new, 
then to business transactions in business transactions will move to me check no it is not business transactions it is after general ledger accounting new it is periodic processing then in that we need to go to the document and then over here you can see that define financial statement version is there we have to execute this part over here so once we execute it will take you to the main screen of financial statement version so over here we can see this screen is coming up to you so now what we will be doing is we'll be creating our own financial statement version so there are two way outs to do that so the standard system is delivered with predefined financial statement versions we can create it either by copying an existing financial statement version or creating a new one from scratch sap has tried to deliver different financial statement versions for all the countries as you can see on the screen with different countries we will be finding the different uh, financial statement version as defined the accounts can be arranged in accordance with the legal regulations used to generate your financial statements so you can see a lot of financial statement versions are there either we can copy or we can create a new as well so let's move on and create a new one for our own particular company code because copying is more easier for you but better is to give you an overview of how to create so for creating you need to go to this new entries so if you go to this you need to put your financial statement version over here which is a four digit four character code so suppose i give my as the same as that of the company code that is 1200 over here i can write over here as finance statement for ibm llc the company name over here you need to put the main language in which you want your financial statement that is e n english now the next is we don't need this we need to put the chart of account that is 1000 so this is what basically you need over here we don't need the item keys auto so now we can click on financial statement items over here so once we click on the financial statement items So you can see now once we have created our financial statement version uh, the system shows us these options on the screen that is by default created so the above nodes are created automatically like PL plus result which gives you the profit and loss in the income statement net result loss that is uh, the loss carried forward to balance sheet net result profit that is the profit carried to the balance sheet part and then liquidity liability plus equity and assets that we will be using in a while so now next step in this is to position your cursor on the node on the node 1200 over here so once you put the cursor on at over here on 1200 node then you need to go and click on to create item I hope you are clear with it or you can just have a look at this screen no not this in a while so we need to go to 1200 and then click on 1200 node and then go to create items so once we go to create items over here a new screen comes to you over here on the screen over here now we will be updating the information uh, as per the financial statement required by by us in our format and then click on to the continue button so let's fill up the details over here first that is one is balance sheet that is bs short form the detail form will come on this side balance sheet 
then second I will be taking IS that is income statement the next is UA that is unassigned accounts so these are the three uh, three particular parts which are needed by me uh, for my company that is what I am defining over here and now we can go to continue so now it, these three you can see that these three part has been added over here these are the three items which have been added on the, the screen to you balance sheet income statement and unassigned accounts now click on to this over here at number seven and then go to select over here option over here and then go to click balance sheet and then you need to go to this reassign option over here I hope you are clear otherwise you can just have a look at this screen first you need to go to 7 that is asset and click on to this option over here on the top on the SAP screen and then click on balance sheet once you click on the balance sheet and then click on the reassign so that is what I am doing over here on the screen first I clicked on this 7 then I went to select this over here you can see now this has been selected then you need to go to click on the onto the balance sheet over here that is BS I click this red box has been created and then you need to go to reassign so once I go to click on reassign you will see that there are the options over here same level or subordinate level so I need this particular asset as a subordinate subordinate part in the balance sheet that's why I will be clicking on to the subordinate so select the subordinate and click on to the continue option over here so you will see now this asset from the downside has moved now in the balance sheet subordinate tab similarly you will be doing for the other part as well as per your requirement for the for the same so let's do the others as well like now let's take the liability and equity over here that is what I, sixth part I am just clicked over here select this click on to the cursor over here then go to select after that you need to go to the balance sheet and then you need to go to the reassign part and in reassign again I need the liability and the equity to be a subord subordinate part of the balance sheet so I will again go to select the subordinate and click OK so we'll see now that the liability and equity has also moved from there to over here on this part now moving to the next again same way you need to go to select the fourth number and select from over here first click on to 4 then go to select over here option after that I want this loss or profit in the head liability and equity so I need to select the 6 over here and then I need to go to reassign on the screen and reassign I will be doing it again for the subordinate so once I do it for the subordinate this particular net loss net result loss will go in the equity part as you can see on the screen once that been done now I will be selecting the profit then I will be going to select then I will be going to this liability and equity and then I will be going to reassign then again I will be selecting the subordinate so you can see over here the net profit and loss result which is a part of a liability and equity basically equity so it has moved up to the equity side within the liability and equity part so that is what has to be did, uh, done in this particular case now moving to the next is this profit and loss result this profit and loss result is basically a part of uh, income statement so I will be selecting this third click uh, click the cursor on this particular third and then go to select now I will be taking this part in income statement so I will click on to the income statement and then I will go to reassign then after the assigning I will go to subordinate so that will take this particular P plus L result 
that is third number, last one, will be taken up within the subordinate of income statement. So as this has been moved from there to there, now, now there are two parts left, that is financial statement notes and not assigned. So these two will be a part of unassigned account. So again that has to be assigned. So I will be now click on two. That is not assigned part. Then go to select. Now select unassigned. Once you have selected unassigned, now you need to go to reassign over here in this subordinate part. Then OK. So it has moved under that. Similarly, you will be moving the financial statement notes. Click on to one, then select, then click on to UA, that is unassigned account, and then go to reassign. Subordinate. So now, whatever the new, whatever the by default uh, items we got, now we have used that for our own headings. Uh, few of them have been used under the balance sheet, one has been used under the income statement and then two has been used under the unassigned account part. So now once we have moved with these, we'll move to the next part. Now moving one by one, we'll update the name of their particular heads like uh, first week balance it is okay now to liability and this there is no text exist has been there so I we will be updating this part over here now so double click on this particular tab once you double click a new box comes up to you over here you can define your item name over here so this liability plus equity is equal to basically liabilities that has been taken up over here and the end group will be total liabilities once you have done this over here now you can select ok and you will see the name has been updated over here as liability Similarly, you can update the other names over here on the screen as per your requirement. Like, we can double click on this now and we can put it over here as retained earnings. So that has been taken. Okay. So that name has been updated and then again this next one will also be retained earning now moving to the assets the assets name can be updated over here so you just need to double click on that particular line on this particular part and the new pop-up screen will come to you similarly we will be double click on this particular net text and net no text exist against uh, next to profit and loss so once you double click over here again a new screen will come up to you so now this is net result okay then again we'll be moving over here double click financial statement notes enter then not assigned not assigned will be not assigned only so that's it similarly you had to do just you need to double click on each of the lines and accordingly you can update your name as per the requirement for those particular fields so once now we have developed the structure over here now you can go and you can save the screen so that the structure can be saved in the request so to create further notes below assets proceed as follows so like i want to subdivide now each of the heads further as per my requirement so i want this asset head to be subdivided into number of different assets so what i will do is i will go and click on to this number over here once I click onto this number, then I will go and 
click on to create item mind it if you click on asset over here and then go to click item it will not work you need to click on to this number first and then you need to go to create items then only the system will allow you to create sub nodes <coughs> or subordinate nodes within the asset part <coughs> so select the seven number and then go to create item and you can see within set within the asset you can create number of sub ha sub assets heads so like uh, we can create ca or else you can take a number also 11 12 you can take 13 so the number can be created over here like uh, current assets then you can take non current assets then again in the next part you can take other non current assets as well so this is what within assets we have created few more items sub items in assets so ok and you can see now within assets 11 12 and 13 have been defined so the number should not be repeated now when we have created 11 12 and 13 we'll move to the next so within similarly you can create more and more as per your requirement like for within income statement i would be creating few so we'll select this income statement over here then we need to go to create items so in that way we can create sub subheadings within the income statement like uh, expenses or you can name it as uh, this is 3 so we can take it as 4 5 okay 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 or we can take it as EX so let's take it as we have taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8 is left, 9 is left so we can take 8 9 8 we can take as expenses 9 we can take up as income and then OK so in this way you can see the different heads are been created on the screen similarly you can go and you can create heads within liabilities as well so within liabilities you need to select 6 over here within the liability number then you need to go to create items and then within liabilities again you can create like uh, um, we can create 14 15 like 14 we can take up as like current liabilities fifteen we can take up as non current liabilities and then we can select to continue so you can see now that the current and non current liabilities have been added over here as well if you want you can collapse this for this particular option over here so now we can see this particular headings on the screen and if you want you can collapse these things over here as well so now once we have done this suppose now within liabilities also there is current liability there is non current liability if you want further subheadings to be created within the current liabilities head we can go to select this 14 and then again we can go to create items and in that way you can select over here as well the different current liabilities part as well like uh, for example we can take sundry creditors
similarly you can create over here some other as well like loans and over here you can take other current liabilities So now you can go to continue. So you can see even in the current liability you can create further subheads. So similarly you can create other heads in, uh, in non-current liabilities as well or in asset as well. So if you go in assets they are current asset, non-current assets. So if I select the current asset again in current asset if I want to go and create further sub nodes so I can create further sub nodes within the current liability over here as well. So now within current liabilities, let's take up a few of the heads as well now. So let's take 1101 or 110 where I can take up as cash and cash equi. equivalent then we can take 111 over here as a different head as well like bank we can take over here as 112 as sundry debtors Similarly, we can take 113 as inventories and the rest can be taken up as other current assets. So you can see now that within current assets you got five new sub parts. Similarly you can create within non-current assets. You can select this 12 then you can go to create items and that now you can take over here as like within this you can take up with 1 2 0 as land 121 as building 122 as plant and machinery 23 as furniture and fixtures so similarly you can create more and more of the subheadings as per the requirement of the business whatever the heads there are within the company so in this way you can create all your FSV so after creating all the above nodes if you go for your all the after all the above nodes configurations will appear the screen will appear like this as your new screen over here as you can see so there are different such options this is the screen which reflects to you this can be much more bigger as you keep on adding in a real practical scenario more and more heads will be added in that so once you have created your this structure uh, uh, like we have created over here assets liabilities then liability will have a subheading then your subheadings like current liabilities will have further subheadings and even those further subheadings can have a further subheadings as well so it depends up, upon the company how um, what is their requirement in what manner they want to show their financial statements and all those things can be done so now once these structures have been created the knots have been created and the items are created within the headings now we can move on to assign the GL accounts to these nodes so that the automatic financial statements can be prepared from the system so now how would you be assigning these all so suppose for example we move on to bank 
so you need to put the cursor on this over here on the bank and then you need to go to assign accounts to assign bank GL accounts in the bank heading so I will go to this assign account and as I do you can see over here the bank is over here because I have put the cursor on the bank on the main screen over here and then I, I clicked on to the account assigned so once again let's do it again if you put that cursor on the cash part then you can put the on cash and then you can go to assign account and in that case you can assign the GL account over here for cash and cash equivalent ledger accounts so now moving on to the bank let's put the cursor on the bank and go to assign account click on to assign account now and then we'll be selecting the GL account for banks and that can be assigned over here so if you want you can you can select it from over here else you have other options as well so what we can do is now we can create one more screen where we can we can get the list of all the GL account so let's have a list of all the GL account which we can map over here in the financial statement version so that is f.10 where we can get all the list of the GL we need to put the chart of account over here and then we can go and we can execute it so this is the list of GL which we have and in that you can find the bank GL over here these are the two first so that is what you can assign it over here then the next what you can do is you can again select the further banks if there is any so you can see over here these are again three more banks coming up so that is what are selected and those three can be assigned over here as well so you need to assign this bank over here and once you have assigned you need to assign this on both sides so once you have assigned you need to assign tick mark these options over here as well debit credit debit credit has to be tick marked they are mandatory to be done so once you have done that now that C and D are the debit and credit balances of the account once that has been done you can go and you can continue it so we'll see now the ledger accounts have been added within the bank GL so this is how your headings are assigned to particular GL account and when you when you print your when you run reports for your financial statement in that you will find that the bank heading has got these GL and their balances will come up within the financial statement similarly you can go to sundry debtors click on to sundry debtor then go to assign accounts now once you go to assign account over here you can select and the customer reconciliation account so that is also you can you can search from the screen over here and you can put over there so you can see over here there are two customer account that is the debtor account service customer account and financial customer accounts so it is what you can assign over here that to this and you can again click on to both the sites debit and credit then again continue similarly you can go to cash and cash equivalent select cash and cash equivalent and then go to assign accounts and over here again you can go and you can search your cash GLs so as of now the cash GL is only one that is one zero 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 two so that is what can be assigned over here to this part as well so once that has been done again you can click on to continue so as you can see now so this is how you need to assign the different GL accounts within these headings same way you can assign this inventory and other assets over here in land you can assign land in plant and machinery you can assign plant and machinery like on building you can click on to building and then go to assign accounts and from over here even you can go from over here as a search option as well so once you go to the search options in that you will find building so you can see over here on the screen there is building in it so you can select the building ledger over here so once that has been taken on both the sides now you can select the debit and credit and then again ok continue ok the GL doesn't exist in the chart of account ok so probably the wrong GL has been taken up so the right GL over here is this
so it has been taken up okay so you can see again the building has been added over here so similarly you need to assign all the GL account to different headings so that your financial statements would come values should come on, on their respective heads so here assuming that if this all have been assigned and your financial statement will be prepared then we can go and we can run the reports for that similarly you need to do all these settings this is a long activity which you need to do uh, which GL will come under which head and all and once that has been done your financial statement version will be ready so once your financial statement version is ready that means now you have got a particular layout in a particular manner in which you need your financial statements and then you can further go on and execute the reports for for your financial statements to be generated for the management So we can save it now. So once you assign all these GL to their respective heads or various nodes and items, the financial statement version is ready to be used by the company code 1200 and then we can execute the reports for by which we can we can get the whole financial statement structures. So this is how you need to assign this even if you want you can again go back financial statement item you can see these are just the three heads which we created at that point of time and if you go further you can open up with that expand it so there is only two head liabilities and assets if you further open it up you will find the liabilities has got these many heads similarly you can close it and you can see the asset part so assets has only current asset non current assets and non-current other non-current assets so even further you want to see within current assets what are the different heads you can go over here and you can see these are the different heads in that so this is how the particular nod to sub nod to sub sub nodes are there in it so as we assign the GL in the balance sheet different headings similarly the income statement can also be assigned with the different GL accounts depending upon the kind of headings or uh, the kind of a statement format we have created as per the requirement or, or as per the legal requirement of country to country so as in the income we have divided it into three parts one is the one is the expenses next is the income and third is the net results net results refers to the net profit or net loss which is calculated at the end of the year so in expenses part if we want to assign the expenses ledgers then we can assign those in the expense heading so if you want to assign that you need to put the cursor on the expenses head and then we can move up to click on to the assign accounts so once we put the cursor in the assign accounts now you can see the pop-up account uh, screen has came up to you know, on, your, on the screen so we have we have to put the as account assignment from and to so if you have a range you can put from and to else you can put separately different GL accounts as well so the system allow you to assign as many GL as you want as per your business requirement there is no restrictions for that so as we know for the company code one Zero zero, the different accounts for expenses starts with 4 or even we can check with the account group so we can go and we can check the account group OBD4 enter so in that we can find that the chart of account is 1000 over here for the company code 1200 and the expenses GLR from the range of 4 to 499999 so if you want you can copy this GL range from here and you can copy this and you can assign that GL onto this particular tab as well so it can be taken up over here so this is from and to has been assigned that means in the future any GL which will be created in this range bound will be automatically assigned to this expense heading in the income statement so 
we need to check box this debit and credit mark as well so as to have the debit or the credit balance in the income statement so once we have assigned this GL from and to now we can move and we can click on to continue so that now the GL has been assigned to the expense heading as you can see in the screen similarly we can assign the income with the income ledger accounts so for that we need to put the cursor on the income and then we have to move to assign accounts so we can click on to assign accounts and again in this part we can check that what are the different revenue GLs so you can see over here this particular part the selected one is the income part so over here we need to select the income GL from and to and we can take that over here on the screen as well so three zero so this is what the GL has been taken over here as well and we can have to select this credit and the debit box checkbox so that the debit and the credit balances can also be reflected in the income statement under the income head so this is how you will be assigning the GL to this particular heads and we can click on to continue similarly if you have any any of the uh, net profit or loss GL or you have created any profit and loss GL account you can assign that GL over here as well so this is how we can create our own income statement layout and at the same time the balance sheet layout as well and once this layouts are created you can have reports by which you can find your income statement for the company at the same time we can have the balance sheet for the organization as well so this is how you would be doing the financial statement version mapping and as the mapping is done similarly the same way you will get the reports format as you design the layout over here the number of GLs you assign in this heads as correctly you assign that much correctly you will find your balance sheet and the income statement from the reports which we will be doing ahead so this is how your financial statement version is prepared that is done so now once this has been done what need to be done is the next we have defined the financial statement version which is a very important activity very important configuration for any any company because the financial statement is the is the end result which any company looks for for the finance and accounts part so once that has been done now we'll move to the unit testing part so in unit testing we'll be running reports only by which we will be looking forward that how your balance sheet and financial statement are are been taken in the in the system how, how they are reflected in the system so the basic report is f.01 for balance sheet so we'll be executing that report just to have a look f.01 it will not show you all the formats all every headings because every headings has not been assigned with the ledger account as of now once they all are properly assigned then only they will be reflected so now you can put the chart of account over here the company code 1200 so once that has been defined you need to put the year over here that is 2014 fiscal year and then you need to go over here and you need to select this so ALV tree control and then as structured balance list then we can go to execute so once you execute this particular screen comes up to you so no issues you can just continue this and move on so once we have done that you can see over here right now in the balance it only the assets is reflecting because only the assets have been assigned the ledger account once you assign the ledger or the GL account to all the respective heads all those reflect respective heads will be reflected to you on this screen but as of now we have assigned only the general ledger accounts to this particular current asset part that's why their balances and their headings are reflected to you similarly once you assign the ledger general uh, GL accounts to your liabilities or to income statement those will also start reflecting over here on the screen to you so this is how you can see you can further break it down so cash and cash equivalent has cash GL over here only if you go to bank bank will be displayed over here that bank has these four banks 
which has got balances in their headings. So any GL which has balance in their heading, they will be reflected over here. If their net result is zero, they will not be reflected on the screen. So you can see over here, the bank has got these much balances. Same way, you can check for sundry debtors. So even in sundry debtors, you can see that only the finance customers have got the balance. So this is how your finance statement versions look like. Once you assign all the GL accounts to their respective heads, a proper full-fledged finance statement version will be reflected to you. So similarly, you can have more of such reports as in the screen. These are some of the helpful reports which are needed in day-to-day -day business requirements where the, the particular this report is used for actual to actual comparison within the financial statement the next report is very much similar to the same as we have checked f.01 then the third report is is basically actual versus plan report and the last one is for the trial balance so once you execute this particular report over here enter so over here you need to fill the details like 00 the company code and then this particular report is helpful for today's practical environment where the client wants the financial statement as per the business area or as per the profit center so you have all the options to have the financial statement at at the business area level which at which you can make the comparisons and have a look of the what are the liabilities and what are the assets in that particular business area or the profit center reports so the financial statement has got or even the segment or the trading partner wise or different options are there to have the financial statement with that part this particular report so that is why this report is very very helpful for various today's requirements so now over here we'll be taking the ledger as ol and the financial statement version will be taken over here so we can select the version over here which we just defined that is 1200 and then you can take the comparison years comparison period 2014 we can take 01 to 012 similarly we can take 20132 Zero one to zero twelve, so we can make the comparison of 2013 and 14 to each other and now we can go and we can execute the report so once you execute the report the report reflects you in this manner but as of now there is no data reflected in this that's why there is nothing coming up in this particular report so this is how you will be running this particular report similarly you moving on to the next one is this where you can execute this report as well so moving to this last in s underscore alr underscore 870122284 enter so in this you need to put the chart of account then the company code 1200 and you can put the reporting year over here and then we can go down to select this ALV tree control and a structured balance list and execute the report so once this screen comes up to you continue now we can see again the same screen that is we have seen in f.01 because we have assigned the GL account only with the asset with the particular asset class only that's why these balances are reflected within the asset class current assets only so in this you can further see what are the different ledger balances are assigned in it and their ledger balances will also be reflected to you so this is the second report which we did executed the third report is again similar to the first one that we have used 21 but there is a slight change that that particular 28 report is actual to actual comparisons whereas the 29 report is for actual to plan comparisons that's why there is a difference else everything is same in it 
then the last report is f.08 f.08 basically is the trial balance where you will find the GL balances GL every ledger accounts closing balances what is the closing balance with them so that is f.08 enter we need to take the chart of account the company code and then we can put the fiscal year over here 2014 1 to 12 and then we can execute the report so you can see the report is reflected to you in this manner where you get all the all the GL account and the descriptions of the GL account and then you will find the opening balances over here which are carried forward from the last pre which with the previous year to the current year then the current previous period balance over here on the screen and then the current period debit and credit balances are reflected on the screen so this ultimately gives you the closing balance that is the accumulated balance on the screen over here that is the opening balance plus the balance of the previous period plus the debit and minus credit is equal to the closing balance over here on the screen so this is the closing balance reflected to you and over here at the last you can see the total of the debit side and the total of the credit side matches to each other so this is the trial balance which is also known as the GL account balances reports so this is all about in this financial statement version part that's it Thank you. We'll see you in the next training session with a new topic. Thank you so much.